Welcome back to 380 this week. Uh, this part, this video, is dealing with removing bending from a larger assembly. I've already uploaded a file here, which is a modeled version of Orlov Volume 1, Figure 126. Let's open up. Uh, I already have Shift N turned on. If you want to see the components, Shift N, toggle them off. Kind of differentiates, but we there's a lot of stuff going on in here. There's stuff inside the shaft, in particular this ochre color thing. So I'd like to be able to see that. Let's go to inspect section analysis. Try and pick a face that's in the middle. Looks good. Yep. That's what we've got. This pulley is bending the shaft. Ideally, we'd be able to move this, the, the business end of the pulley, over the bearings here and here. One thing we need to watch out for, though, is the raises. We don't want this pulley to touch this part of the race of this bearing. It'll start to rub. So keeping that in mind. This is going to be a video trying to do the obvious just by dragging, moving, uh, press pulling, all that sort of stuff. So we'll try and move, press pull to move this over as far as we can get. It looks like we might not be able to get this beyond this web. So we can probably move the web around. So let's try moving things first. So move. That's uh, up here on the ribbon mostly. Uh, the shortcut is M. If I press M I can see what's going on. I can move bodies, components, faces. Faces. Now let's try drawing a box around stuff. Doesn't get anything because this drag is only things that it entirely incorporates down to the brick. Kind of a orangey box. However, I pull the other way. It's everything it touches. That's quite nice. Let's try dragging that across. Oh, oh, once we hit that fillet, we get in. We hit a problem. Maybe we could delete the fillet first. Looks okay. Now you'll notice there's no history running here. Let's undo that and turn on history. I have to press up here, right at the very top. Right click, capture history. That means if I do some stuff like, for example, delete this fillet, I can go back in there and undo that or modify it, add more stuff. So let's try another move now. Although before we start, well, we still have one. Let's try and figure out how big that fillet is. Show snap points is on. Three and a half millimeters seems strange. Maybe it's an inch. Let's try four decimal places. Five. Three and a half inch. Ah, uh, three and a half millimeters is what it is. That's fine. So let's uh, let's get out of that. So three and a half. Anyway. Move again. Faces. Everything I touch. Do a little test pull. Yeah, impossible geometry again, but not too bad. So let's pull it, say, 12. For now. Wonder, maybe we can pull. Let's add some selection. Oh. Twelve. Okay. So we're doing okay there. Let's do it again. Faces. Errors and I. No, errors and I touch. It's good. Maybe even. I start. Can I move these guys? Maybe. Huh. 
Nice. That's quite good. Very careful here. Not running into this. So let's go for minus 15. So you get it out. That's quite good. So I wonder what's the difference between these two guys. We click that usually we get it into the into the uh, clipboard. Let's move again. We have this problem here. Don't know where it wants to go. So let's try. No. No. <laughs> so the move tool is quite complicated. Uh, it it's trying to do what it thinks we want here, uh, but what it's not really doing is giving us exactly what we wish. Let's try dragging. One more time. We're at one point eight. Aha. It just deletes the face. There, that is good. Unfortunately, that's as far as we can get with this. Right, we can't go any further without ramming the web into the bearing. Make another video on how to get further with this. And yeah, that was purposefully a little bit janky, but this is as far as we can get by just press pull by the move. Um, the next one, I suppose we could introduce a little bit of press pull here. One, how does press pull work? If I click this, you'll notice what it does. It pulls the web down as well. And you could argue that it's probably at which point going significantly above this clamping phase here. So pull that down a bit to even it out. Too much stress on the shaft. This is very much just by eye. I'm going down about four millimeters. Say okay. There we go. Not bad. Kind of balanced in here. That's my stop point there for the first method. Moving it in as far as I can uh, without doing a significant redesign or rebuild of the part. Uh, over to you. Thanks for watching. Just one last thing here. Uh, saving automatically makes a version. In the next video, we'll re upload again. Uh, we can see another way to do this. Thanks for watching.